Good evening to the committee members and the participants of International Conference on Interdisciplinary Research in Social Science and Technology. I am Vani Srika C from School of Educational Studies, University of Science Malaysia, going to present the paper entitled The Use of the Adding Model to Design and Development of the Grid and Game Module for Remedial Peoples. The first section is Introduction. According to Muhammad Asnur Hisham and Abdul Rahim 2017, Remedial education is a vast field of study that involves many different methods, a stimulating learning environment and the provision of engaging activities to give students an opportunity to gain experience that could expand their knowledge and improve fundamental abilities as many children still face difficulties in literacy and numeracy. Mathematics is a compulsory subject in primary and secondary school curriculum in Malaysia. Even though it is important and needed in daily life, there are many people who are afraid of this subject, especially during tests and examination. This happens among the mathematics remedial students as they have not mastered the basic arithmetic skill as required. According to Ahmad and May 2018, the remedial students pay lack interest in multiplication when compared to other numeracy skills. Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division are basic and initial skills in numeracy. Thus, it is vital to master the multiplication operation skill before furthering other operations of mathematics. Thus, this study explores the design and development process of the grid and game module. This module plays a vital part in delivering the understanding and knowledge in multiplication skill for remedial peoples. Thus, the grid and game module should be designed attentively and systematically. There are many types of instructional design models used by researcher in designing and developing teaching and learning modules that use their strategy to achieve the respective objective. As the model ID is well known for its structure and flexibility, it is chosen in this study to design and develop the grid and game module. This module also has many types of technique to use as final evaluation either formative or summative. According to Eddy model, analysis is the first step in developing teaching and learning module. The researcher explores the issues faced by remedial teachers in this space. Researcher collects the information about the low mastery remedial mathematics skill among remedial peoples. Researcher also collects extra information on people's desire knowledge, attitude in class, and what needs to be taught to enhance people's understanding. The analysis process needs to be done with four aspects, which are analyze the existing knowledge of the peoples in the respective skill, analyze the standard content of the applied skill integrated in the curriculum standard, analyze the standard learning of the applied skill integrated in the curriculum standard, and the last one is analyze the standard performance of the applied skill integrated in the curriculum standard. The analysis that been carried out through the focus group interview among remedial mathematics teachers. The interview questions been started with pupils' background of family and education. The first few questions are focused on pupils' interest in learning mathematics. The following questions rooted to discover main problem which is teacher's opinion and view about the less mastery topics in mathematics to be give more enhancement. The second step in ADI model after analysis process is design phase. This second step's goal is to create a suitable teaching strategy that will enable the objective to be met. 
Using the information acquired during the NEET analysis, the learning materials were designed during this step. Researchers created the grid and game module based on the information acquired. Integrating all the facts that had learned about the students' learning needs and the challenges they had when learning mathematics skill. As a result, the materials were designed to address the difficulties and expectations and the module was also designed to correspond with their mathematics national school curriculum. The researcher designed the grids as an intervention to mastery multiplication skill and design web-based game using Edpuzzle. The researcher acquired the design requirement during the design phase in order to create the first outline of the grid and game module prototype. In the development phase, multiplication games created using web-based at Basel and e-lesson plan created for teacher's guidance. The researcher created an interactive module that indicated the student's level of ability in multiplication skill. The content of curriculum is taken into the account of the development of the module. The material suitability with pupil basic ability Material suitability with learning objective. Material is supported by appropriate media. Also, material is easy to understand. And the last one is material provides sources to learn something new. About the development of learning design and media. The strategy used attract people's interest. Able to motivate people. And the material delivery is systematic. In the aspect of technical, the simplicity of the module and the module able to help people to understand lesson very easy way. And the display, video and picture are catchy and the font size and space used are suitable. And the pilot tests were done on the older instruments before the data collection. The fourth phase in the EDI model is implementation. The use of learning and teaching modules for the multiplication skill in the classroom is referred as the implementation step. Evaluation of the grid and game modules, effectiveness and viability is the goal of the implementing or carrying out the module for people in classroom. The grid and game module was then introduced in this space to 60 year 3 students in one of the primary schools in Kuala Muda district in Kedah. During this phase, the module will be implemented among remedial peoples for 8 weeks. Therefore, the researcher will assess the module effectiveness on remedial peoples throughout this phase. The researcher suggested an informal formative evaluation through in-depth in interview with remedial mathematics teachers and an analysis of the people's grade activities and game result make it easier to give enough and detailed feedback on how well the students comprehend and use the grid and game module. Some essential factors that must be taken into account while evaluating the teacher's tradition and experimental instructions are duration of teaching time, provision of teaching aids, preparation of lesson plan and costs involved. The evaluation phase is vital to discover the whether the module objective is achievable. This evaluation procedure plays an important role for determining whether the content of the module has attained the necessary level. Interviews with the group of four teachers working on the grid and game module will be held after the assessment test. Strength and limitation of the module might be determined during this evaluation step. All of this data is evaluated in order to improve the module. The final evaluation effectiveness test revealed that this grid and game module might improve students' performance and achievement in multiplication skill. As the conclusion, 
The great endgame module was developed using the Addy approach, which has shown to be successful. Each stage has a wide range of process for systematic improvement and it is connected to each other. It has a clear and pertinent procedure that must be followed with a crucial data input from one phase serving as the output for the subsequent stages. The researcher strongly recommending that the ADI model can be used more broadly in the field of education. Thank you so much for this opportunity.